Today we're on page three of the Chem 1 Chapter 5 packet and we're going to be learning how to find the shortcut to know how to do all of these orbitals in order without having to use page three anymore and only by using the periodic table. We're going to start off by placing helium right over here next to hydrogen on the periodic table just for the purposes of understanding how this works. So if we're going to do the electron configuration of hydrogen, it only has one electron. So we're going to put that electron into the 1s, and that's going to face up. And then if we want to do helium, we would add another one, and that would face down. And then we're going to move on to lithium. We're just going to go right through the periodic table through the elements. So we did hydrogen, helium, now we're going to do lithium, then beryllium, and then we're going to move across to here. And we're going to see a pattern develop as we go through. So now we're going to do lithium, and that's going to end right here at the 2s, and put one in there. And then beryllium would add another one into the 2s, and that would go over there. Then we're going to move on to boron. And boron is going to um, put one into the 2p, and I'm switching colors. This color is going to match the uh, yellow on your periodic table on your paper on the screen. And by the way, I would suggest having a periodic table handy. I forgot to tell you. So if you want to have one out, it'll help you when you want to take notes later. Okay, so we just did boron that ends in a 2P1, and then we're going to do carbon that ends in a 2P2, and then nitrogen would end in a 2P3, and then oxygen would end in a 2P4, fluorine would be a 2P5, neon would be a 2P6. Then we're going to move back, and we're going to do sodium, which has 11 electrons. And when we do that one, that one's going to end up back in the 3s. And then we do another electron here for the uh, magnesium, and that's going to be in the 3s as well. And then we're going to move over into the um, next one, which is going to be aluminum, and that's going to put one into 3p. And then silicon, again in the 3p. And phosphorus, again in the 3p. Sulfur, again. Chlorine, again and argon again. And now we've filled up the 3P as well. And notice what's going to happen as soon as you move from argon back to potassium, you're going to put one into the 4S. So we're going to put an arrow into the 4S facing up. And then calcium would put another one into the 4S facing down. And then now we're going to move into scandium. Scandium is right over here. And that one is going to now go to the 3D. And all of these 10 um, elements are going to put all their 10 electrons into the 3D. And then look what happens. Now you're going to move into the uh, 4P. And the 4P is going to be right here. So all of these elements are always putting their electrons into a P orbital. All right, so the gallium is going to put its electron here. And then you're going to go germanium, arsenic, selenium, bromine, and finally krypton. And then what's going to happen is now you're going to go to the next element after krypton is going to go back to rubidium. And guess what? That's going to put its electrons into a 5s. So we're going to put that into a 5s. And then the next element goes there. OK, and then you could see that after the 5s is going to come, the yttrium element is going to put its electrons into the 4D right over here. And then those 10 elements are going to fill all their last electrons into the Ds. And then we're going to move into, from there, the 5P. 5P is going to be right here with indium going first. And then again, we'll put our electrons into the 5P. And those six elements are going to go like so. Next, we're going to move into the next element, which is going to put it into 6s. So 6s is going to be cesium. I'm going to just plug this in real quick before it dies on me here. So 6s is going to be where cesium puts its last electron. You can see the pattern developing here, where the elements that are in the left side of the periodic table are always putting their electrons into s orbitals. So 
this is where you're going to put your two electrons for cesium and barium. And then we get a little tricky because you can see that after 6s on our diagram is going to be 4f. So 4f we're going to put in, starting with La, we're going to put element uh, electrons right here. And you can see that all these are 14 across. So you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, on my periodic table on my screen, it's a little confusing. I have LA right here, but on yours, you might have LA right here. So without going crazy with the details, we just understand that after 6s, we're going to go to 4f right here. So 4f is going to come after 6s. And then look at what happens. We're going to go back, and this element right here is going to start filling in here. And notice on our little chart that 5d comes next. So 5d is going to fill in 10 electrons for all those 10 that go there. And now I'm going to just pause for a second to revisit what we've learned so far. So what we've learned so far is that elements that are in the first two columns are putting their electrons into s orbitals. The elements that are on the far right are putting their electrons into p orbitals. The, electro the uh, elements that are in the middle are putting their electrons into d orbitals. And the elements at the very bottom are putting their electrons into what we call f orbitals. And the periodic tel table tells you the order of all of them as long as you simply remember that element number, I'm sorry, orbital, s orbitals, start with level 1. So you see that the first s orbital that you ever have is a 1, but the first p that you have is a 2. So you're going to write a 2 in front of this for the first p. And then the first D that you ever have is a 3. So you're going to write over there a 3 in front of D. And then the first F that you have is a 4. And that's going to be your first F orbital. Okay? So S's start with 1. And P's start with 2. And D's start with 3. D's, I forgot to circle the P's there. And then the first F is a 4, so you're going to circle that one. The first F is a 4. Those are the first ones. And now let's follow the order, and you can see the periodic table completely tells you the order. So we're going to start with 1s. 1s is in the beginning, and these two elements are putting their electrons into 1s. Then comes 2s, and these two are putting their electrons into 2s. Then we move across. The first p is a 2p, and this is the first set of p orbitals, the 2p. Then we go to the next line, which is 3s, and these are putting their electrons into 3s. And then there's a 3p down here, aluminum, and that's going to be the 3p. Now look, we go to 4s. 4s is potassium and calcium. And then we go to 3d which is right here, these elements putting their last electrons. Then on the periodic table, this is going to be 4p, which is right here. Then we reset here to 5s, which is right there. And then we have a 4d, which is right there. Then we're going to go to 5p, which is right here. Now it's going to get a little tricky. We're going to go to 6s, which as I scroll my screen down a little bit, is going to be right over here, 6s. And then look what happens. After 6s, you go down to the first green set I have. And that's going to be the 4f right there. And then after you're done with the green, you go back to where you left off, which is right here. And this is going to be the 5d. So this is 5d right here, okay? which you could see up here on my little chart. And then after 5D is going to be 6P, which you can see on your paper. And then 7S. And then from 7S, you go all the way to the bottom down here for that bottom F right here. 
which is 5F. And then last uh, couple, we have a 6D, which you may or may not have on your periodic table, and then you would have a 7P as well. So my point is this. The periodic table right here tells you the order. As long as you remember 1, 2, 3, 4, S, P, D, F, if you could just memorize that, you'll have everything because you know the first S is 1, the first P is 2, the first D is 3, the first F is 4, and this whole entire order comes from the periodic table.